that. I was getting all kinds of great life advice during the break. Yeah. <laughs> I shot six Plaza Hotel and Spa. The advice that she is about to share with you is to get you set for spring cleaning, purging with a plan. This can you be got overwhelming. It. it can be, especially if you have that dreaded space in your home that's full of stuff, which I think a lot of us do. So whether it's your garage, your basement, maybe a guest bedroom that's not a guest bedroom right now, now is the perfect time, spring. A lot of people get the spring in their step to tackle and get rid of items, but do it with a plan. Okay. And here's my plan. You can create your dream space for zero dollars or close to it if you plan properly with my formula of sell by DIY. Okay. I did this in my own house, so I'm not crazy. I have proof that this formula works and I did it in my basement playroom for eight, which, eight dollars for eight dollars right? so okay. this is a space where my boys are older now they like electronics not toys so it was full of stuff and I think we have a before picture where Let's we see, can see, see the and stuff. this is after I'd done a little bit of cleaning but there was an old like miniature drum set old toys and I was able to sell everything in the space I made $712 with just stuff that wasn't being used and turned it into this after. Wait, what? <laughs> well, with that $712, I went and I shopped in the secondhand economy and ended up spending on top of that eight bucks, so $720, to create this space. Okay, you have some supplies of how you created yes. that. Yes. So I, with my formula, a couple tips. So if you are purging and you're ready to sell. Oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, well, this is a locker. So this is part of my buy. This was a great buy. This was a $50 locker yeah. that as you, when you look at it, a lot of people wouldn't, it wouldn't crank, you know, get you going, get you excited, it's but vintage. I saw potential. So when you're looking to buy a DIY item, look for the structure and the function and the potential of the piece, not the aesthetic, because that can easily be changed and affordably be changed to create a customized space. And you're about to show us how. I'm going to show you how. So a couple tips for selling, first of all. So as you're cleaning, group items together that are similar. So in my case, because it was the, the kids' playroom, I had a whole bunch of costumes and arr, the pirate hat, your favorite. Yeah. Now, I could have sold each of these in a garage sale or online for a couple bucks each, but instead I grouped all like items together and sold them for like 10 bucks. Mm. So it's higher value, you push things out the door faster. And then with that, the key is thinking about selling online. Don't wait to do a garage sale because you're at the mercy of the weather. Sell online, post everything and get it going fast. Okay. And then turn your pickup into a pop-up. So treat the items that you're selling online as if you're having a garage sale. So when somebody comes to pick up your pirate hat, you have everything else out and you've priced it so that they end up browsing and they'll oh. say, oh, I'll take one of those. I'll take that lamp. Maybe they'll take the car from your garage if the price is right, yeah. whatever may be. But that's a way to get items out the door faster as well, more cash in your pocket. Okay. So once you have the cash, we're ready to buy. Hop into the secondhand economy. As I mentioned, that locker was a super good buy, but looking at it, it lacks a little bit of aesthetic potential. So for me, it's always knowing what products I can use to DIY, which is my last step, to make the space look awesome. So with that locker, it was super rusty. So I found a mir miracle product, Must for Rust. Mm -hmm. This stuff, I washed the piece down and it literally ate the rust off of the piece. Oh, nice. It was really cool. And this is a, the situation where when you find the right product, it saves you time and money and it makes the outcome awesome. And it's also a rust inhibitor. So I'm not going to have rust pop okay, on there really anymore. Okay, we only have like 10 seconds Then I got to show this. So yeah. the wall, the feature wall in the space. This is a great affordable DIY. Use leftover paint and create a mural on your wall. This is all leftover paint from the space, chalkboard paint on there as well, so it creates function as well as fashion. Beauty. And uh, drop-in fees only $20 at our home gym too, so it's very, <laughs> very reasonable, right? That's the way I'm making extra money. <laughs> yes. Every day she's hustling. Memberships. Uh, <laughs> we'll take a break. Russ and Kate 